And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Professor Taskmaster, our first meme tier Monday deck. We're gonna have four pretty awesome meme tier Monday decks like we always do. This one is going to be a deck with Teemo and Fizz and a whole bunch of one drops. So we have all these one cost units. We have the Poro Cannon making more one cost units for us. Um, and the reason why is we have two payoffs. We have Jagged Taskmaster with Plunder, uh, granting our one cost allies everywhere plus one plus zero. And Professor Von Yip, whenever we summon a one cost ally, grant it plus two plus two. So we have both of these ways to pump up our one cost units. And then we have, um, let's see, how, much, how many do we have? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, uh, 20. And then these Poro Cannons could potentially be even more. Um, so oh, you know, most of our deck <clears throat> is just one cost units. Like that's that's all of our deck, just one cost units, um, Taskmaster and Von Yip, and then two removal spells that also go upstairs. Cause we're gonna be aggressive. We're gonna be, uh, with these one drop units, we're gonna have a lot of elusives. Like Teemo's elusive, Fizz can be elusive. Um, you know, Prowling Cutthroat, of course, is fearsome and elusive. And then our, our Poros, our Daring Poro, our Warding Shot. So we're gonna be just trying to race them with, with these one cost elusives. And so like these burn spells can finish the game off. Now, the other thing that we have, so then for our top end, what we used before in this deck was card draw. But I'm gonna play, I'm gonna try University of Piltover instead of card draw. Now I think, I know we just played the University of Piltover with the Katarina Teemo deck and it did, did not work out well with Katarina. But I think this deck actually works better for being a University of Piltover deck. Because if your opponent has stabilized <clears throat> and you know, you're like in the late game, even if you have some extra card draw, you know, like progress day, for example, even if you have like some card draw, all you're going to be doing is we're just going to be drawing these one cost units, right? Like that's our whole deck is these one drops. And at that point of the game, if they're like stabilized, drawing more one cost units isn't probably going to help us win the game. Like, let's be honest, like they're probably going to be able to deal with the one cost units. So therefore, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have University of Piltover because in the late game we can play this because we're going to empty our hand really quickly with all these one cost units and then in the late game if our opponent does stabilize we'll start creating three random cards every single turn and maybe those cards will um, allow us to finish out the game who knows they'll be random so i think this could be actually a, a very good university of piltover deck all right but anyway it's memes here on monday let's get to it we're just playing our games in normal that's what we do here on meme tier monday while we uh, try out some uh, different ideas and so we're gonna try Professor Taskmaster um, you know Professor Von Yip and Jagged Taskmaster with the new uh, University of Piltover and with our one cost champions um, and then also okay so we're starting with Professor Von Yip that's good uh, we don't need like burn spells are like we don't even need removal against these things these would definitely be like finisher stuff so let's mulligan all of those um, also, just, just to mention, no stream tomorrow on Tuesday. Just taking a um, regular day off to get a bunch of chores done around the house. Got a lot of cleaning and laundry I gotta do. Well, that's too bad. They had the hapless aristocrat. I was thinking that I could, you know, with, with the attack token, I wanted to play the fizz and get some damage in. So sometimes you want to just hold on to your one drops and wait until you play Professor Von Yip and then start dropping a bunch of one drops. Wow, that's so rude. All right, so I think my plan right now is to have turn four Professor, turn five Professor plus Fizz, turn six. They're just playing Yeti Yearling in their deck? Man, talk about an anti-aggro <laughs> anti deck. They're just playing Yeti Yearling. Like this? Oh, I see. To me. Ah! 
All right, we got six five fizz. <laughs> Our fizz is bigger than their trundle. Uh, so I could I could you know get excited, discard like the taskmaster, and then attack for six. I can do that though the next turn. I'm gonna just wait, and so I can have the get excited kind of protect against vengeance. Um, I love the jury rig. So that can be like a surprise five five. All right, university. Trundle's ice quake. I guess I can. I can just do, wait. No, no. I want to do this first while we have the the plus two plus twos or the yeah. Let's just get this trundle off the board. So don't get any cool pool shark bonus. And I think these... Man, Crawling Sensation? They're all about the one-drops. I think this should happen from left to right, so we should discard our hand and then draw three and give him Fleeting, and then we draw this extra one and give it Fleeting. Nope, never mind. Okay, not the best. I will admit, not the best. See the border but there's always next turn. We'll get some new cards. All right, so I guess the pool shark doesn't work with the university. I thought it was going to go left to right, but they had so like if we if we play pool shark, all we do is just get rid of those cards, and so they don't do anything. I found my family, my bloodkin. Arachnoid horror. We'll just end around. I just won't play them. We'll just uh. Let's keep the two spell mana. Ooh. Can we get a Darius? Okay, there we go. A Poro Cannon? Now we talking. I can't do damage to them, though, to turn on this Jagged Taskmaster. Plunder. Yeah, so actually these cards don't really help that much. <laughs> Alright, so they'll be able to kill my Fizz. I guess I could I smell apprehend. Aha! Good thing we saved the ap Apprehend. Let's stun Trindamir. And I guess a, a 5 3 is bigger than a, a 3 2 or anything like that. Um, I don't know, would I rather have a 1-1 one, one elusive than the pool shark? I guess so. Yo, and so basically the question is, is that also worth... Oh, I guess we get, yeah, I guess just casting it gives us another one for leveling up Teemo anyway. Is casting it worth using a spell mana? That's also another consideration. Okay, Screeching Dragon. Grasp the Undying. I mean, last turn I had all this, all these spells I didn't want to play, but now I want to play all, you know, all three of these. But that costs 14 mana. I have 11, so I get to play two of these three. Let's go with. I guess we go with the dragon. All right, we gotta be attacking. We need to clear space off of the board. Trindamir is not going to be easy. 
honestly not sure which one of these, you know, gr uh, either like grasp the Trindamir or play Professor Von Yip or play Crimson Awakener. I don't, I don't know which one I want to do. I guess six. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I can only do one thing. Kind of wish I didn't play that that daring Poro the previous turn, and I would have held the one spell man, and then I could have had get excited. You know, played a four drop in, had get excited. All right, withering well could be nice because we can have a five. Oh, we can't have five two block. This will be a slaughter. Yeah, never mind. We can't have a five two block. Last turn, we just got all the good ex expensive cards with University of Piltover. We couldn't play them all. You know, like this turn, we have all these, like, one mana cards. Fine. Fine. I guess it makes sense to take the damage first and then play it. We're at 13. Or play it for... Okay, so actually it doesn't matter. Either way, we're at 13. Glad they used that Withering Will right then. All, all that Withering Will did was deal one damage to me when they when they played it. What we get? Ah, uh, follower. Follower. Yeah, whatever. Can't believe they didn't play around the Radiant Strike. I mean, they kind of did. Um. Alright, I'll let them kill that. We'll see what last breath thing that we get. Got me. Yeti Yearling. So I can strong arm. I can spend all seven mana and strong arm this spiderling, and then put the spiderling into play on my side. Oh, that's right. We gotta have plunder for this card. Never mind. So I can't even do that. We gotta have plunder. Forgot about the plunder part of that card. Ooh, guile could be good. Oh yes, Teemo overwhelm. Yes. What? This is a they who endure deck. No, I need that. Can we go back to the cards that we just had the last turn? <laughs> I need to steal this follower. All right, well, I guess we stun, stun this they who under. Use our guile there. Attack! Real tough, aren't you? Put us down to eight. Warriors end. Another day in the field. Get him, Timo. <laughs> Timo, overwhelm. <laughs> Gotta love some good old Timo, overwhelm. War Mother's Call. Wait, War Mother's Call? I mean, I guess that's better than, than this other stuff. Alright, we're going to give this They Who Endure vulnerable, so maybe I can start killing it. So my plan here is to have Yeti Yearling... Ah, I don't like that. That's not good. We're gonna have Yeti Yearling challenge this, so it, Yeti Yearling dies. Cool, both of our Yeti Yearlings die, so that puts four enraged Yetis into our deck. 
That could... Enraged Yeti could actually be, like, something... That we want to War Mother's Call. Maybe we get some 5-5s. Five fives. Alright, who's the War Mother's Call deck now? That would be us. Alright, let's get some one mana 5-5s. Five fives. <laughs> or some Daring Poros. You know, either one. There we go, 5-5. Five five. Alright, come on, Vengeance. Vengeance. Um, okay, okay. If we don't die this turn, which we likely die this turn, we could do like some stun them. It's always cold in the Frel Yard. Hail to the king. Um. So we're probably dying right here. Okay. I'll, I'll block that. Thank you. Get ready for a beat down. <laughs> Do we get to actually just like block these? Go to two. Okay, we're not dead. And that killed two things, so that's good for War Mother's Call. Uh, I guess I just Mystic Shot them, or maybe I Mystic Shot this 1-1. One, one. Or I guess... Wait. Oh, this only has Vulnerable for the turn. Hmm. Not for good. Oh, well. I'll still just Mystic Shot this thing. Maybe we draw and get excited. Alright, so we'll have War Mother's Call. Put in a Fizz. Cool. We got a leveled up Fizz. What else we got? An Atrocity. A pocket Aces. Um, so we could Pocket Aces the Fizz. We could Atrocity the Crystal Ibex to kill the They Who Endure. So that's six. That's nine. So I have three other mana, so I wouldn't be able to play Silverwing Diver. Oh, come on, come on. Maybe I should Pocket Ace is the Teemo. That's actually probably better to Pocket Ace is than the Fizz. Never know what hit So I could, I could Atrocity the Fizz, and then that wouldn't... You know, like, basically, if I if I go after the... I guess we have to Atrocity the Fizz. This is just the safest play. Because if I if I try Atrocitying the 4-4, they can have Vengeance. <clears throat> or something like that to kill the 4-4. Four four. And then we don't actually kill... Then we don't actually kill the They Who Endure, and obviously we had to kill the They Who Endure. Okay, well, standalone's not doing very much. Alright, we got Avros and Hearthguard this turn. Oh no, not another They Who Endure. No. Many tribes under one banner. Alright, too much overwhelm. And see, so, yeah, I didn't want to play an elusive Poro because I wanted space. You know, with with War Mother's Call, I want space. Yeah, too bad these these overwhelms. They're just too big with Trindamir, They Who Endure. No, not the same matchup. 
That ice quake obviously was really devastating with the uh, Professor Von Yips that we had early, and then they ice quaked, and so. Uh, so we can mulligan one of these. So I, I like I like Taskmaster, Pool Shark, and a one drop. We can mulligan the other one drop if we want. Um, you know, or we could keep it. Doesn't really matter. I'll just mulligan this jury rig. All right, so let's try to hit him for one. Come on, hit him. Yes. All right, we got Taskmaster online. Can see the Debastian border from here. That'll help out. We couldn't get a Taskmaster online last game. In Avarosa's name. Are we playing build rules, son? I could see them playing Avalanche right here. Okay, no Avalanche. Hey there. Don't mind the knife. Let's go get him. I'll be quick. Give us some room. Ready the torches. So this is what our deck's supposed to look like. Last game it was kind of weird how you know like we just had like our um, our university and double professor and a taskmaster. You know like we had just like all that kind of stuff. Usually our deck's just like a whole bunch of little ones. Hmm. So the mystic shot's fleeting. So I want to play it. Kill, like, hitting the... So we could hit the Nexus, put them down to nine. Yeah, I'll just do that. Hitting the Weirding Stones wouldn't be bad if, if their plan is Avalanche. Okay, their plan's probably not Avalanche with that, so I'll just go with this other Pool Shark. We'll go to our turn. Mm. So I could cast this other jury rig and, and attack with it, but then, you know, like, Withering Whale is like the card that kind of hurt with that. Okay, no Withering Whale. Alright, we'll start getting our, our new cards. So now it's just where's this get excited going? Am I killing weirding stones? You think it should go face? The thing about killing weirding stones right now is that this is a key turn. This keeps them off of eight mana. And so like it keeps them from playing Trindomir, which could slow them down a turn, which could be really good. I think this is a critical turn. They should be able to heal their neck. Like, usually, like, th these regions heal their nexus a good amount. Like, I don't think I just put them down. Like, if this is, like, Ezreal Swain that doesn't have nexus healing, then, you know, then I'm probably killing, you know, doing damage to their nexus to try to finish them off. Um...
Okay, let's see. They're out there. We are putting some pressure on them. some pretty good pressure on them. Well, that's too bad. I was worried about playing Doom Beast first and then they play Ruination. Like, I was worried that they were... that they'd be able to Ruination after one more card. So crowd favorite out of four other things, so plus four, plus four, <clears throat> so a six, five. I stand for Noxus. Then I guess we turn Do not stand in my way. Teemo into a four, four. You must get by these first. That's, for, that's me saving the most health so we don't just die to atrocity. These were not the best cards. <laughs> and no, two University of Piltovers, do, do not, that does not help you, by the way. Yeah, but is... I wouldn't really mind them playing Ruination, right? It's, it's probably a lot more likely they have, like, Vengeance. <clears throat> Let's play this first. Give our mighty poros plus two plus two. We got him. I think we got him. You can't fly if you don't try. On guard. GG's. One and one. Yeah, that would have been brittle steel for sure. <laughs> that would have been sad. Yeah, GG's. Because if we just, like, if our University of Piltovers are just, like, progress days and we just draw cards, like, that opponent was going to be able to beat some more 1-1s, one right? Like, they just had all they had all those avalanche... You know, they played multiple avalanches. Yeah, they had the Ruination. Like, they're going to be able to just beat some some other random 1-drops. And that's why our University is good against the decks with tons of sweepers. Now, I could see... I could see Mole getting all of these in this matchup. I don't know if that means that we need to keep University in the opener. Um, this is just... This is going to be another control deck that's going to be able to stabilize and everything. Well... Maybe not. They, see, this is this may be one that can't stabilize against fast one drops. Let's just keep the fizz and see what else happens. Eyes up here, or I'll cut them out. Another day in the field. I can play the Fizz also and hit him for two more. Or I can play the Jagged Butcher after combat. No, let's, let's play the Fizz first. Because the expectation is they're playing Remembrance next turn.
Oh no, I forgot about the gauntlet, not a bot. Forgot about doing the gauntlet. Alright, I would like a a taskmaster. Two of those things. My cause is righteous. You can't outrun justice. George. <sighs> two of these things is just like perfect. Turn three remembrance, turn two, double mage seeker persuader. That's that's like their perfect hand. I'm not sure which one of these I'm supposed to save right now with the get excited. I guess the Teemo, because I won't just always have spells to turn on Fizz. Puff cap draw. Unified Mystic shot my own team, though, they'd still get the three drop. Or at least it's not a very good three drop. This is where we could use university. You have no alibi. Oh dear. Quite right, quite right. Answers, I have them. Boo. Closer with these puff caps. We're getting closer. They're at five. Discipline and steel. Four, Michael. There we go. Down to four. Okay, okay. Cavalry to the field. You can't outrun justice. You poor thing. What's that you got there? Can't win them all, eh? Ain't you a looker? A noble is. <clears throat> Alright, maybe this cutthroat can get them. Cutthroat. Hopefully, no fight spells or anything. Oh man. Oh man. Do I just attack, or do we play a second Cutthroat? Where then they then they have to deal with both Cutthroats. They're both lethal. Hey there. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to play it. Put the pressure on them to deal with both of them. Good thing that's not elusive anymore. 
Well, they could have basically well yeah well what could they have that would punish this they could have two flash of brilliance and a progress day and then that would be like the two flash of brilliance would be would create a final spark and the progress day would create a final spark i guess but no they could only cast one final spark couldn't they so they, they could only cast one so this gives them the six one And a final spark. Okay. Oh, but... Alright, there we go. GG's. They didn't have the fast speed removal, I guess. Yeah, they couldn't play the 6-1 and spark. They couldn't do both. Like, this is a matchup, again, like where they, they can kill like one health things all the time. Um, I guess I just keep all this, actually. I mean, these are all just, like, one health things, so they could go hard all of these. I would discard, you know, like, Warning Shot would just be here to discard the Portal Cannon to make more Daring Poros. It's fine. Yeah, I am, Slayer. I love the University draw. Because this is one, like, where if they, like, go harding and, and red card... And all that kind of stuff. I pull the strings. Could just warning shot them and then play Taskmaster. I could just do that. I kind of like that. Like this Taskmaster can block this Elise. Skitter out from the darkness. So I just spent two cards to trade with Elise, and they get a 1-1. <laughs> That's a good trade for them. But all we gotta do is play this University on 5. It doesn't matter that I'm unloading the rest of the hand. A game. Go on, then. I want to play a little bit around Twisted Fate Red Card. Just a little bit. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Give us some room. They do have a fleeting card with Pool Shark right now. Never lost a fair game, or played one. I would love to do the two damage to them to turn on another Taskmaster, but just killing. Um, killing Twisted Fate's too important. Normally they would just outgrind us easily, but with help from the university, maybe they won't. Wow. We got crumbled. Our hopes and dreams crumbling before us. Yeah, we got crumbled. That was... That was my hope of winning this game. Shots. 
wisdom good. Eyes up here, or I'll cut That's gonna kill me. If they, you know, they just have twisted fate red card. We are very dead. Yay! Another university. Gotta go with the flow. Still have crumble mana. I can't pass though. I can't pass and then they pass. If I'm them, I'm, I'm killing the cutthroat and attacking with these four. Like for four damage. This isn't really that valuable. We could use a bite. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you scream. Something the matter. All right, university, you're gonna have to be very good. Can't uh, I? I guess if I if I didn't play coral creatures, I could have made two Professor Von Yeps, but no, you cannot get champions from University. Looking good for the home team. I don't really want to spend mana on Jettison. Just keep the mana. Okay. Mina Swiftfoot, that's what's up. We can bounce all these Jagged Butchers. We can ghost a 2 1 to block a spray fin. Feet were made for Roman and chicken. Let's go, Mina. <laughs> Put one cost things back in their hand. Don't you dare. I can't bounce the other stuff. Yeah, Ghost is pretty nice. I can't really pass. I guess I have to play you. But I can't really pass and then they just pass to me. I wouldn't think they would. I think they would attack with the Spray Fin, but... Can't really risk it. That kills me. GG's. This feels bad. You know, put more pressure on and stuff. All right, Karma Ezreal. Played against all. Weren't all five? Yeah, all five control decks. Nothing like the great outdoors. Why no stream tomorrow? Just a just a regularly regularly scheduled day off. 
take a day off every couple weeks. Um, I have just a ton of chores around the house. I need to clean and do lots of laundry and that kind of stuff, and I need just a, a day off. We each hold a world oh, within. We play in bilge rules, son. No, come on. That's the university right there. Why? Come on. Watch this. The order rewards its faithful. There's plenty of killing left. See, I'll, I'll have like a day off of streaming, but I'm going to be working. I'll still be working like the whole time of, you know, like with editing videos and stuff like that. So I'll just be, I'm just going to be at the house like editing and laundry and cleaning and that kind of stuff. Time for a true display of skill. Man, that was really unfortunate having our... Having our university be right then. Because as you can tell with this, this deck, we're playing lots of low-cost things. Which is cool, but the problem is we run out of cards very fast. To get rich. I guess I should be attacking with Pool Shark. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna just throw Professor Von Yip out there and let them kill it. I'm gonna wait and try to play Von Yip and then a uh, one drop afterwards. Not a good warning shot matchup. You poor thing. Yeah, not a good warning shot matchup. Yeah, the university was in the, just the one spot it couldn't be in our 11 cards. Say your farewells. I guess I should play this right here. Quite right, quite right. I got ways to find me mushrooms. They cannot hide. Yeah, warning shots are just to protect Fizz. Yep, they're to protect protect Fizz, and uh, that's basically it. They, you know, just do a little bit of extra damage. They help. The other card they can help is Professor Taskmaster. Or sorry, not quite not Professor. This is Professor. Sorry, Jagged Taskmaster. They can help Jagged Taskmaster as well with the plunder. Uh, but I'm just playing two of them. Just you know, one like you know, two other just cheap cards. We got real unlucky where that uni where that university was. There we go. <clears throat> got good use for a warning shot there. I'm really surprised they did not kill this Professor Vanya. Four out of six for Ezreal, leveling up. Within. We've already used two Concussive Palms. Of course, right after Karma turns into four health, that's whenever we draw our Get Excited.
Yes, yeah, so they're just holding on to that. All right. That levels up Ezreal. So I can either kill Karma or Ezreal. I think it's more important to kill Karma. Alright, University. So we went two and three. That was, uh, yeah. So we just played against uh, five control decks, and you know, like control decks are usually going to be able to handle the the little things. You know, like if we play against you know other like aggro or mid range decks, we could outrace them with the elusives. But control decks just have tons and tons of removal, and that's what we ran into. And so we were relying on our university all five games really because we played against the five control decks in two of the games. University helped us get those wins that was super unlucky that last game having our university be the out of you know like all the cards we drew the one that we found it was the one on the pool shark whenever we only had four mana that turn i mean i guess i shouldn't have played the pool shark i guess obviously i, I regretted that that cost me that game um but yeah i like i like that university as the top end for this kind of stuff i, I do kind of wish that i could have played against some other type of matchup like where we could have seen how, like us race with the uh, with the elusives and with um, you know jagged taskmaster or professor vanya making some large elusives for us to race with because you can you can do that against some other <clears throat> kind of decks but just uh, you know we just only played against control all right but that's professor taskmaster those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video